Ah, oh, I love this choreography so too. It's so good. Hi everyone. We are Lachi Mola. And we are back with another Flashback Friday. We're going through the BTS catalog and we have made it all the way to Save Me 2016. And um, you and I both discussed how much we love this this video. Yeah. And can I say, I can't believe it's, what, six years old? <laughs> That's crazy. That does seem crazy. That's so crazy because this song is like it's a classic you know mm -hmm. and the sound is you know when you hear some 80s songs you know like you know it's from the 80s mm -hmm. yeah this song is like one of the songs where it's like it's timeless yeah you know so oh so good you're right it sounds like it could have been put out today yeah and you wouldn't know mm -hmm. it's so good I, I'd love and it has whistling right kind of like <laughs> oh yes I do <laughs> Not gonna lie. I mean, we're gonna get into all of this. Should we watch first? Yeah, Should let's we watch. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> Here we go. BTS. Save me. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Yes. I guess Memorable. it's not really whistling, but I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it's close to it. <laughs> oh yes i love it i'm like where are they like a beach or oh, oh. so good oh. I love everything about V right now, right? I love oh, how they all just show up. Yeah. And the beat to the song. Oh my goodness. So good. Ah, oh, I love this choreography so too. It's so good. And there's really no distractions, so they have to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, sugar. Ugh, so good. Oh, oh, <laughs> when Hobie starts, even the dancing gets lighter. Mm -hmm. Oh, so much feeling. He does have a lot of uh, feeling into his music. Yes. <laughs> they all do, though. Yeah, they do. Why does Jin look so tall? Right? It's like, I don't know. He looks giant in this. I don't know. Is it his hat that we're not used to? I don't know. Maybe. Or he's like, just like a thin black column. Yeah. I love how they're all in black and white. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, so good. So, so good. Oh, 
one of my favorite songs of one of my favorite music videos so amazing it is so amazing okay and i have to say just off the bat like most people would not film a video like this on a cloudy day no. but that ambiance really sets the tone for the whole thing yeah and i love love the one shot take like yes no oh my one gosh that's amazing if how one, many of those have you even seen not very uh, many not very many but the last one shot that i really remember that was super memorable was game of thrones <laughs> one of the episodes was one shot take you know just one shot but this is like freaking amazing yeah. you know i mean could you imagine like <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many takes that they did, but if someone messed up like towards the end, that would suck. You know? And there's a couple times where people seemingly just like move from one spot to another and you don't even know how, like when RM yeah. pops up, mm -hmm. JK's literally right there. He goes down, RM's up, and then he's on the other side dancing behind him. Yeah. And it's like, oh, how did he get there? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what did he crawl? Yeah. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, it's pretty amazing. Um, yeah. It's really cool. Like when one artist like starts singing and another one just pops up you know yeah. like like one just like quickly like ducks down and the other one just shows up you know and gosh it is so good how they did that it's like camera ma manipulation or something is that a thing i don't know and like, then when you know when i assume j-hope and whoever did the choreography then you really had to i like how there's a lot of like there's a lot of in sync kind of like jerky movements, but yeah. then they kind of cascade into something flowy. Yeah. Um, but they all have to be on the same beat yeah. for that. So like eat just when you think they're all doing their own thing, then they all are doing the same thing. Yeah. So it's really amazing. And they would have had to figure out this choreography for the one take for the one shot. Yeah. It would be a very different way of trying to do it. Yeah. Um, and they still manage to all have their own stuff. Like when Sugar has his stuff and they're doing stuff behind him, it's very different than from RM or from yeah. J-Hope. Yeah. Um, they really did a really good job. It's like even the choreography makes them stand out. It's so yeah. interesting. Yeah. I, I get really sad when I start hearing like RM rap because it's like so good, but I know that the song's going to end, you know, right? because I was like, oh, no. no. <laughs> and that's also unusual. I feel like usually well i mean sugar does open a lot of songs but rm usually raps you know in the middle in or the before middle. Mm -hmm. like and you're right he's really they really save it till the very end which is unusual so then yeah, yeah it seems like it stops suddenly because we're not used to, like usually there's still two more choruses and a verse after rm and you're like yeah. wait what it's over i, I don't know, know. I was like, no. I was like, man, he sounds so good. I'm like, but no, the song's gonna be over soon. <laughs> like, no. uh, yeah. Uh, and like we said before, the song is so good. It's got that amazing hook. It manages to be like downbeat, but then there's the upbeat chorusy part. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just very emotional. And I know yeah. a lot of that is their performance and how they vocalize, but the song itself, the lyrics itself, it is. It's a very vulnerable song for mm -hmm. a bunch of 20 something dudes to be singing. Yep. Um, I feel like it's kind of a surprise. It's a song you would expect to hear like I you sing. Yeah. But they're singing it. It's yeah. very interesting. I, I, I wonder if before this, I mean, I don't picture a lot of other groups singing stuff like this before. Yeah. I and feel like it turned a corner. Yeah. And that's what makes BTS like a very, very special group, you know, because, you know, a lot of bands like at the time wouldn't sing, you know, stuff like this, like mm -hmm. save me, you know, so it's too raw. It's too yeah, real. Yeah. Well, way, way too real, you know? So yeah. So they brought that in the forefront, you know? Yeah. So that's what I love about BTS is um, they don't follow trends. They make them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They it, they paved the way. You know, they paved the other, way. Yeah. They paved the yeah. way. But you can only do that by thinking out of the box and being willing to take risks. And I feel like this song kind of feels like it was risky at the time, even though we're now like it's a classic. Yep. How could yep. you not know this? How could you not love this song? Yeah. Um, and it is a classic now. But you know, there must have been a time where people were like, "Ooh, are we gonna do this?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody must have thought, "Hmm." I don't know. Yeah. But it yeah. works out so well. And I know I said it during the video, but I really like how 
they're all in similar color tones with their outfits. So it's like, again, they're all individuals, but they're a cohesive group. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I love the casual look, you know, it's like, I do too. yeah, like you don't have to be in, you know, crazy star, like uh, sequin studded, whatever clothing. Or it whatever. doesn't all have to be Gucci. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like this one, and maybe that's part of it too. You really felt like it feels raw because it feels, I think the casualness kind of like leans into that. Yeah. It's like, please, I don't have time to get dressed up yeah. <laughs> like my my world's falling apart will you yeah. please save me yeah um and I also really like uh V has those like weird they're almost like mummy bandages looking things but they mm-hmm. are like really cool yeah um and again <laughs> every time I saw Jin I was like why does he look so tall <laughs> is it because everyone else hasn't finished growing yet and he has <laughs> he's like a giant and I love him with blonde hair I really honestly this era of Jin might be my favorite I, yeah I, yeah I like him slightly edgy but not too edgy yeah. um and I don't know it's just it's so good yeah. and I like it do you notice nobody has their hair done nobody has product in nobody's nope. wearing a bunch of jewelry nope nobody's wearing makeup it's yeah. that's it's, again it plays into that vulnerability exactly and and yeah like going back to the casualness like we're so used to seeing like rm and hats and stuff like that too mm-hmm. but not gin like i don't I, no not yeah. gin honestly not with a baseball cap you know like mm-hmm. i you know we don't see that and again that goes that leans into like the vulnerable side and like mm-hmm. casual side like this is everyday gin you know yeah. like and and I like that a lot I'm I'm all for it you know we're here for it you know I mean so, I love it when they're blinged out but I love this too yeah and they can do both and oh, yeah yeah for some reason this just feels it feels very intimate because yeah. of that you yeah. feel like you're watching something a little private mm-hmm. um which is always an awesome feel who doesn't like to feel like they're being led into the inner sanctum to see something, you know, Mm -hmm. behind the scenes. (laughs) And this gives a real feeling of behind the scenes, even though it's obviously like an emotionally staged performance. Yeah. And going back to, okay. The music really quickly. Like, yeah, Mm -hmm. I love the beginning sequence. Of course. Like, I don't know what that sound is, but right. I was wondering, is it one of those like keyboards that you blow? Yeah. 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 (laughs) yeah, I I don't know. It could be, but like, I'm just picturing sugar, like messing around and like making something. Yeah. (laughs) And, and and it's so memorable because like, when you hear the first, like three seconds of that song, you know, it's yeah. You know, immediately that it's saved me, you know? um and then going going back to the choreography like after you know jimin and jk's like they sang their part they start doing that dance you know that dance break you know and i just i love that part of the song so much yeah. like you see them like the, the whole kicking and stuff like that too part of the choreography like it's uh it's so amazing <laughs> i like and I this is so definitely much. one of those songs where it's like when people are like, RM's not a good dancer. I'm like, whoa, hold up. You, you've seen Save Me. Yeah. Like the man can dance. Mm-hmm. He can't learn it in five seconds. Guess what? Neither can I. <laughs> not everyone's Jimin who can watch or J-Hoop oh, who can watch something on TV and then suddenly do it. Yeah. That's not how most people work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's a really good dancer, Sugar too, and I feel like they're always so underestimated because J Hope's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, they have two of the, they have three of the best dancers. You know, I oh. feel, you know, like Jimin, V, and J Hope. I feel like they're... and JK, JK oh, yeah, is an JK amazing too. dancer. And like yeah. everyone in this group can dance. Yeah, totally. Um, but I do feel like the rap line gets called out the most, and mm-hmm. I sometimes I wonder if it's just because, well, yeah, Sugar and RM are trying to keep up with J Hope, but guess what, they. Do do yeah i mean it's funny because it's like back in the day when um they debuted like rm was like so dead against dancing he's like no i hate dancing blah blah, blah. there's interviews that about it like look. there's yeah you know, there's a vlog of him saying like man i was gonna quit because they're gonna make me dance i didn't want to <laughs> dance yeah. but now like he just like you know he just adjusted you know mm-hmm. like to that whole environment and he's like Oh, such a great dancer. So you good. Know? Sugar too. Sugar's a really good dancer. And that's another man who was like, I didn't want to dance. I mean, that's not what I do. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, and if people are questioning like they're dancing, they should watch the mama performances. I mean, yes. like that, that really showcases. Live, beautiful. Yeah. They're and I do think, I feel like one of the reasons that they probably accepted it is because especially like in a video like this, the dance really it, it doesn't distract from the song. It actually feeds into it. Mm-hmm. And it it really changes the stakes and makes it more, even more exciting, more interesting. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, for them, I, I always feel like their dances are very organic. Yeah. It's, it's more like a wine pairing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not yeah. supposed to blow your palate out and make and distract you. Exactly. Um, even though sometimes you're like, how the hell are they doing that? That is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, the song is on and the song's so good that you're like, I know that's crazy, but look at the song. It's so, yeah. good. It's <laughs> like, so good. <laughs> so it can stand up to that sort of dance, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. Ugh, I just, ugh. yeah. And you know what? This like this, so good. <laughs> this video too, doesn't have all the bells and whistles. Like it's such a simple just a very simple music video or a concept yeah one singular yeah <laughs> that is That's crazy it. most That's videos it. are like eight stages five costume changes and yeah. you know there were six s- edits and like to your point <laughs> their hair's not done like mm-hmm. they're very stripped down you know it's and- like a uh, earring one ring it's not yeah yeah it very much feels like they like were camping or something yeah they're like on this beach yeah so i mean it's oh amazing it's and- very simplified and they've they've already graduated to those big budget oh, music yeah. videos so it yeah. is a turn it's a pivot Mm-hmm. um and it works yeah because like because so like the previous music videos that we watch was um run and that was very cinematic you know and so and right before that didn't we watch fire i mean how uh, much stuff is going on in that yeah, video yeah like a <laughs> dropping like car everything burning down burners I mean, all getting stuff. ironed yeah like, a lot's happening <laughs> yeah so, and know? like dope dope has a million costumes and you know yeah, yeah. so to be this was a very deliberate lean into what this song meant. Yeah. And that's what they're so good at doing. Like, it's interesting because there's a lot of great groups that put out great music. Yeah. But just because you do great music doesn't necessarily mean that'll translate into videos. It's mm-hmm. a very different medium and not everyone can bridge that gap. And I feel like they like when I hear this song I think of this video I can't yeah. not think of it exactly and usually that doesn't happen you're like yeah. I love this song yeah but I literally think of this video <laughs> yeah, all the time I, the same here <laughs> like when I hear this song pop up it's like I I literally think of them the choreography like mm-hmm. I can see it I can you're just like, see it yeah exactly a hundred percent so yeah. for this to marry so well that it's like inseparable in your brain yeah is kind of crazy because there's yeah. plenty of videos where I'm like I don't remember what this is yeah exactly <laughs> but this one I was like oh, I love this one yeah so this one, it's so good and their facial like they're so oh. raw and their facial expressions like Jimin's like oh, oh. my goodness V's oh, like everyone like you said you everyone feel that pain yeah like you said everyone is very emotional you know yeah. and so and and they they you see it you know and you're like you just want to comfort you feel them. it you, you feel, feel it, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. the way they interpret it you feel it and you feel it right away like yeah you know you're like oh shit what's happening yeah um, yeah but it's still entertaining and yeah. good like yeah. it's, it's like- so crazy this song has a lot of like duality all in its own (laughs) yeah exactly you know and the song just like when you listen to it it just goes by so fast you know because it's like it's i usually play this song twice there's a lot of bts songs that i'm like three and a half minutes is not long enough yeah i need at least seven yeah play it twice yeah you gotta loop (laughs) it this is one of those songs because like you said by the time it's over you're like oh no just one more time time." yeah yeah (laughs) exactly so Oh, so a masterpiece in short in case you guys didn't notice we love it it's a masterpiece yes <laughs> it's one of our favorites for sure mm. <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for watching with us if you like this video please like share and subscribe and we are la, la- chi- mo- la- la- la-
And we will see you guys next week for August D. <gasps> yeah. yeah. The only thing I love more than sugar is August D. Yeah. <laughs> sugar unfiltered. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, well, what's that? Uh, what do you call them? Like another person, uh, their, their alter uh, ego? Alter ego. Yeah, that's the word. Right. You got me. <laughs> it's just Sasha Fierce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Annyeong. Annyeong.